Good evening sports fans and welcome to Northern Burlington County Regional High School. I am Mr. James Dowd and I am joined with Northern alum and current history teacher over at the middle school, Mr. Tyler Kay. And we are here live at the farm as Northern Burlington takes on Colts Neck. How are you doing today, TK? I'm looking forward to an exciting matchup here today, Jimbo. We are here. It is the NJS. IAA sectional final and Northern has had a tremendous season led by head coach Mr. Kyle Schreiner. The Hounds come into this one 25 and 4 and they actually won the BCSL tournament in addition to making it to the finals here today and they actually only lost to three different teams. Two of their losses this season were to West Windsor but they had some really really big wins including versus teams like Collingswood, Hopewell Valley, RV, West Windsor Plainsboro North, and as I stated, won against West Windsor Plainsboro South in the BCSL tournament. Now, TK, you were a student athlete here yourself. Why don't you give viewers some perspective on that? It's definitely an honor to be back at Northern Burlington, both as a teacher and now as the head middle school lacrosse coach. And I definitely have found that my experience as a player when I was here myself has been extremely beneficial to me as a coach. So this should be a really exciting matchup. Northern with the home court advantage coming in here. Colts Neck currently 20 and four on the season. They're led by head coach, Mr. Greg Hope. And they've had obviously an outstanding season as well. So we should have a great game here. Now, believe it or not, when I was a student here at Northern myself, there was no boys volleyball team. It was added a couple years after I graduated. And it's so great, kids these days, you know, they have these opportunities. Because I tell you, I would have loved to be able to get out there, play a little volleyball back in my day. I don't know if I would have been the best. It doesn't necessarily meet my skill set, but I definitely would have gave it a go. I can promise you that. You know, for such a young program, Northern's boys volleyball team has just been outstanding. And that's a credit to Coach Schreiner and the boys. And we've got some really exciting players out on the court. And the team is led by captains Aaron Colley, who leads the team in kills with 279. In addition to senior captain Chris Delanos, who is having an outstanding season. And I'll tell you what, TK, I've never really seen a group or teammates who have embraced each other so much as this boys volleyball team. And they've got some young guys, too, who look to take over next year as the leaders. Players like Landon Messenger, who leads the team in assists, actually, with 542 on the season. Um, some other great players like Chris Wilson, Matt Delara, and others who will continue to keep this team competitive. Oh, and that's a big hit. He's going to feel that one in the morning. On the other side of the court, we have a very talented squad in Colts Neck. They are led by senior Ryan Westrich. He leads the team in assists with 483, as well as Joe Bartolomo, who leads the team in blocks with 54. And they've also got some very talented underclassmen, including players like Jacob Buss, Dean Collier, Eric Lucenda, and others. So this game should be a nail-biter. I expect it to be very, very close. These are two 20-win, 20 20-plus 20 win team for the Greyhounds, and each of these teams not used to losing. Both teams only lost four games this season, so really should be a great matchup. Colts Neck has also scored some big wins this year. They defeated some really good teams like Toms River, in addition to Freehold Borough, as well as Middletown North and Middletown South. Coming off a lot of excitement here at Northern this past spring season. A lot of our teams were very, very successful. Our golf team, BCSL champs, as I stated, 
The volleyball team has had an outstanding season thus far. We're here in the finals. Our softball team made it to the sectional final, losing a nail biter in uh, 10 innings. Baseball won a playoff game. Boys lacrosse won a playoff game. Tennis had an outstanding season. So it's really just been a great time here at the farm. And both athletically and academically, as we just recently had our Greyhound Choice Awards, Greyhound Gala, our spring middle school and high school band and chorus concerts. So it's just been an awesome time to be at Northern. And we have our graduation coming up, class of 2023 just next week. And looks like a little miscommunication there by Colt Snake. Just a mental mistake, Jimbo. You gotta be smarter than that. I always say, just as much a mental game as it is a physical game. And usually the smarter team's gonna win. So, lots of exciting things happening. Lots of exciting things yet to come. And I'm really looking forward to this game. And we've got a great turnout on both sides. The home and visitor bleachers are filled. I know both these crowds are fired up. Now you can keep up with all of the Northern Boys Volleyball action on Twitter at NBC Boys V Ball. And you can keep up with all the athletic action at NBC underscore athletics. And that's run by our athletic director, Dr. Dan Uzaki, who does a great job keeping everybody plugged in. I want to also take an opportunity here while we have a pause in the game action to thank our sponsor, Canon, makers of really outstanding electronic equipment. I want to thank them for their contribution to our program here at Northern TV. Really tight matchup here once again. And for those tuning in, I'm Sir James Dowd. I'm joined by Mr. Tyler Kay. We are here live at the farm. It is Wednesday, June 7, 2023, as Northern Burlington takes on Colts Neck in the sectional final of the NJSIAA tournament. Boom, he's down. Nice play by the defenders. That's definitely a team effort there. You can tell they're definitely a very well coached team. So this one is just going back to back TK. No one giving anybody any breathing room. They're really out there working hard for every point and once again for our viewers looking to post this one on northern tv as soon as possible um, obviously before the end of the school year you can also check out northern tv on youtube to keep up with all of the athletic and academic action i mentioned previously we have all of our events recorded and we're looking to live stream our graduation on June 13th. So if you missed an event or you wanna share it with a friend, family, community member, you can check it out on our YouTube page. Just type in Northern TV and you'll have access to many of our outstanding productions, including our Northern News, our flagship show, as well as our Students of the Month who were awesome this year. So TK, as a student athlete, we mentioned earlier, you had the experience of participating in many sports at this point, what do you think is going through the minds of our players here on the court? Let me tell you, Jimbo, I had the opportunity to play a number of different sports while I was a student here at Northern, and I can honestly say there's nothing like high school athletics. The competition, coming together with your team, it truly is just a magical thing. Well said, TK, and... The game still currently tied 11 to 11. Oh, big spike. Wow, great play by Northern. And obviously we're rooting for the Greyhounds, but we're also rooting for a good game, and we've certainly got one here, TK. And it's a pleasure to do this, as always, with you. Nice dig. And boom, goes the dynamite. It doesn't get much better than that. Crowd is fired up, students are fired up. Great turnout as always, as we stated. Oh. 
What a nice play. That was a great effort. Hounds currently in the lead now, 13 to 12. And coming up to serve for the Hounds is Matt Delero. Had the privilege of filming the JRTC National Awards um, just a week ago. And Matt Delero is an active participant in our JRTC program here at Northern. And he was awarded several awards. So uh, kudos to him for his achievement. Look at that crowd. You can tell, you know, they get pumped up for a big play like that. And absolutely, TK, they, the crowd is, is always pumped up. We always have a great turnout here at the farm. And I'll tell you what, kudos to Colts Neck because they're not exactly around the corner, but the visiting bleachers here are packed. They have come to support their team. This game has been super close. Could go either way at this point. And the crowd for Colts Neck is really cheering on their boys. So... Here we go with the serve, and we'll see who's going to get the lead here. Colts Neck currently up 14-13, but again, plenty of action to play. For those who don't know, volleyball goes up to 25, have to win by two, and it's also best two out of three sets. So after this set, we'll have at least one more, and hopefully this game will go for the Greyhounds, and that was a great play there by the Hounds to tie this one up 14-14. And now the Hounds are serving, hopefully to get the lead here in this one. Tough miss there by the Greyhounds, but you know what? Adversity is part of the game. You gotta be able to fight through, get back up, brush the dirt off, and get back out there for the next point. Absolutely, TK, and you had mentioned your experience as a student athlete here, and couldn't say it better myself. So this one's still very, very close, a one-point game. Colts Neck to serve. Oh, what a nice serve. Really see the velocity on that one. Oh! Wow! Huh! How about that? Yeah, that was a great defensive effort there by the Greyhounds. Didn't go our way. So Colts Neck now with a two-point lead. But nevertheless, still, anyone's game. And again, for those tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by broadcasting alum and now current middle school history teacher, Mr. Tyler Kay. And we are here live at the farm. It is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, as Northern Burlington takes on Colts Neck in the NJSIAA sectional final. And these teams... I've had both tremendous seasons. As I stated, Northern 25 and 4 this year. Colts Neck 20 and 4. Northern won the BCSL tournament. And so here we are. One of these teams is going to walk away with the trophy. And it's been a really great game thus far. And Colts Neck is going to get the point there. So, Colts Neck currently in the lead, 17-15, as I stated previously. This game is really going back and forth. No team has had a significant lead, and it's really going to go either way. And as I stated previously, we've got the two best teams here. Credit to Coach Schreiner and Coach Clark for... Doing a great job with our boys. We're still in this one. And I'm very, very excited to see what the boys can do here. Still plenty of action left here at the farm. And our crowd is fired up. So, Colts Neck in the lead. Northern looking to serve here, trying to get a tie in this one in the first set. As I stated previously, have to win by two. Uh, first team in the 25 wins, have to win by two. Colts Neck currently in the lead now. 
thing about high school sports is you can really learn so much from it. It gives you the opportunity to work with others. And I really do believe that having the chance to play a sport in high school really does help you prepare for your future after school. Bump, set, spike, and there we go. Oh, you love to see it. And once again, want to thank you for your time today, TK. Always a pleasure to do this with you. Thanks. It's really a pleasure to be here. Great community turnout today. You can just tell how uh, these fans, they love Northern Volleyball. You've been here with us as a student athlete, as a spectator, someone who has been in some tough situations on the field. And now you're back with our Northern family and you're in the classroom, right? Helping educate our middle school students. Now, believe it or not, I did. I went to Northern myself and in my time as a Greyhound, I was always very involved with Northern athletics. Um, played pretty much every sport I could, basketball, uh, tennis, lacrosse, football. Um, it was really important to me to be involved and try a little bit of everything because it's one of those things, you know, once you're out of high school, those athletic opportunities, they aren't always there. So it's important for these kids to take advantage of that while they can. Yeah, I'm now back teaching at Northern. I've been here for five years now, and in that time I've had the great opportunity to coach at the middle school level, um, coaching soccer, basketball, and lacrosse. It's, it's great to be back involved with Northern Athletics. So, 21-20, Colts Neck in the lead. Northern looking to serve here, trying to get a tie in this one in the first set. Game currently tied now, 21 each. As I stated previously, have to win by two. Uh, first team in the 25 wins, have to win by two. Colts Knight currently in the lead now, 22-21. Serving, serving to enhance the lead. And a great volley back and forth. And the Hounds are going to tie this one up. So 22-22. Crowd is on their feet. Northern looking to get a big win here in this first set. Cold snack. Now going to get the point currently up now 23-22. And they're, they're two points away from getting a big win here. So we'll see what's in the store. So, Colts neck up 24-22. We're going to get a quick timeout, and we're going to pick back up after the timeout now. The Greyhounds are in a tough spot right now. They had used a lot of energy to fight back. Hopefully they can pull off this set. And that's going to be a net violation, 24-23. Colts neck now still one point away from the win, but if Northern can tie the game, it'll go past 25 And that's going to do it. Wow, Colesnack's going to take the first set, but we're going to pick back up here in the second set. Joining me now in our second set is former broadcasting student, Northern alum, Mr. Logan Stewart. Logan, pleasure to have you here today. Thank you very much. It is a great pleasure to be back here at the farm today. 
and we are underway here in this second set. Northern fell in a very, very close first set, 25-23, but I'm looking for the Hounds to bounce back, get a big win here in this second set. Yeah, Northern's really looking to have a really good team this year, especially with all that height in the front. Pleasure to have you here, Logan. We've done many broadcasts over the time you spent here at Northern, and you're gonna you're continuing your passion for broadcasting in college right now. And so we look forward to hearing you, hopefully with the Phillies or with the Eagles one day. But it's always nice to have alumni come back here. And as I stated previously, we have a great turnout here at the farm. Yeah, today's going to be an interesting match. So, count to serve again. The first set was highly contested, back and forth. Could have went either way, as I stated. Greg Hopes, Colts Neck squad got the win. Colts Neck's been coming into this one. They've been playing pretty well. They're 6-2 and two in their last eight. They played well in the Shore Conference tournament, defeating Long Branch, Pinelands, and falling to Southern in the semifinal round. But they've been doing a great job here in the tournament. Northern's 8-0 and in their last eight. As I stated previously, they're 25-4. and four. And they actually won the BCSL tournament, as I stated. And to get to this point, they defeated Lakewood, Morristown, and Cherry Hill West. And all of their games have been home. And now the Hounds are home here in the finals. So looking for the Greyhounds to get a big win here in this second set and see what happens in the third set. Hopefully the Hounds can bring home some hardware. As that's going to be a point for Northern. Some of the standouts from the first set were players like Matt Delara, Aaron Colley, Chris Wilson for the Hounds. And I know Coach Schreiner and Assistant Coach Clark are doing a great job keeping these boys motivated. Still lots of volleyball left here to play and lots of exciting action coming up here at Northern. We have our annual senior night coming up later this week with scholarships and awards and we have our 2023 graduation should be a beautiful day that's going to be on tuesday june 13th and we're going to be live streaming that on our youtube page matter of fact logan i remember you winning our video production senior award just last year this is a colts neck team who is very talented uh, last year they were 17 and 5 this year as i stated 20 and 5 they finished second in their division both this year and last year and they play really well on the road they're 10 and 3 so far this year on the road and they have uh, come in here and really done a great job as our greyhounds have also done a great job the hounds have averaged 20 wins the last two years their season this year and 17 wins last year and only four and a half losses so lots of talent out there on the court and looking forward to a really close and exciting second set Gotta love the defensive effort the Hounds are putting in here and the offensive effort. Colts Neck playing really, really well. These two teams are going back and forth like two heavyweights. Some standouts for Colts Neck so far in this game are Jacob Buss, very talented junior on the team, Ryan Westrich, the senior, and Joe Bardo Lameo. And this team is really playing well. Other key contributors are Eric. Lakenda. Here's Aaron Coley. Yep, that's right, Logan. Now serving for the Greyhound is team captain and very, very talented player, Aaron Colley, number 99, leads the team in kills, as I stated previously. Having a tremendous season, had 20 blocks on the year. That placed him second on the team. And 123 digs, 143 service points, awesome, placed him second. And he also has... 42 aces so also want to take this opportunity to once again thank our sponsor Canon manufacturer of tremendous electronic equipment want to thank them for their support and sponsorship here at Northern TV if any of our community members are interested in helping sponsor Northern TV, helping educate, inform, entertain our audience. You can reach out to our Director of Instruction, Mr. Matt Conowitz, mconowitz at nburlington.com anytime to find out ways to keep our kids and our community plugged in. So, still a tight one here, anybody's game. Yeah. 
And the crowd is fired up after that one. Yeah, nice shot and a really nice spike there. Getting them back in this one. So. Hounds lead. Great dig. Spiked, so Hounds are going to get a point there. We have a really tight match up here, and I expect this one to come down to the wire. Really been back and forth here so far. And what a great community turnout we have here today. And again, for those just tuning in, I'm Mr. James Dowd. I'm joined by Northern alum, Mr. Logan Stewart. We are here live at the farm as Northern Burlington takes on Colts Nick. And we are currently in the second set of uh, best two out of three. As I stated previously, Colts Nick took the first set, but still lots of exciting action here left to play. And hopefully the Hounds can rally in this set and bring this one to a third set. Northern's going to get the point there, catching off guard. Great shot by the Greyhounds. Yeah, nice job keeping the ball high there. First to touch the ground, got the defenders to jump up real high there, but couldn't reach it. Ball eventually touched the ground, gives Northern the point. So still currently anyone's game. We knew this was going to be a tight matchup, and so far it has with both these teams going back and forth. What a play by Northern. Wow. Nice job there by the Hounds for keeping that one alive. Oh, tried to get the block there, but put too much power on the ball there. Couldn't get the block. Coach Kyle Schreiner for the Greyhounds has got to love the effort so far. The Hounds have been fighting for every volley. Great block there. Coach Schreiner is an applied technology teacher here at the farm. Now serving for the Greyhounds is Arla Barrow, Matt Dallara. Anybody's point here. Really great play here as that one's gonna. And we set it up again, blocked. What a block. So Logan, we've been talking obviously a lot about this game, but why don't you tell our viewers and our students here a little bit about your experience with as a broadcasting student. During my time as the Sports Desk Sports Anchor, I really enjoyed uh, scripting the show and producing it uh, all the way through for four years and I really enjoyed doing it and realized that I wanted to pursue a, a career in this industry in the future. Why don't you tell our students also about your experience as a student athlete here at Northern? I had a great experience at Northern the past four years, uh, serving as the sports anchor for Sports Desk, as well as participating in sports like bowling and golf. Uh, pleasure to be on varsity for four years in each of those sports. And you were a tremendous and successful athlete here at Northern, as well as a key contributor to Northern TV. And so we have a great game here. Hounds currently in the lead. 12 to 9. Again, for those tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd, and I'm joined by Northern alum and former broadcasting student, Mr. Logan Stewart. We are here live at the farm. It is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, as the Northern Burlington Greyhounds take on Colts Neck. Nice save there by the Hounds. Couldn't agree with you more, Logan. That was a great play, and Aaron Colley is going to continue to serve here, as I stated previously, one of the team captains, one of the Standouts on the team. Northern looking to win this set after falling in a very, very tight first set. 
and it looks like Colts next gonna get the point there. So 13 to 10, still again, anyone's game. And I was telling former broadcast student, Mr. Tyler K. Logan, you know, obviously we're rooting for the Greyhounds, but we're also rooting for a good game, and we certainly have one here. This has been a tremendous matchup of two really, really good teams here in the finals. Both of these teams finished actually in second place in their divisions, respectively, but playoffs have a way of diluting the best teams, and we certainly have the two best here. Northern actually finished their bracket with the most power points, and as I stated previously, have been the beneficiary now of being able to host all of their playoff games here at the farm. And as you stated, Logan, we've got a great turnout, friends, family, community members, great spike attempt there by the Hounds. Looks like it went out of bounds. And now Colts Neck is looking to close the gap. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. It looks like that point's going to go to the Hounds, and they're going to get the serve. So uh, advantageous there for the Greyhounds, and now we'll be serving here with the lead with plenty of time left here in the second set, anyone's game, as we stated. And obviously always a pleasure to do this with you, Logan. As I stated earlier, you did such a great job when you were here. That point's going to go to Colts Neck. And we've got a real tight matchup here. And hopefully Northern can come away with uh, the trophy here and win the sectional tournament. It would be a great celebration here for our boys for a season well done. And it would be also a credit to Coach Schreiber and assistant coach Clark, who have done such a great job with these boys the past few years. And just a great volley back and forth here. Neither team wants to give an inch. That one's going to hit the net, unfortunately. But still, plenty of action left to play here in this second set. Hounds up by one. So we're going to get a timeout here. If any of our viewers are interested in any sponsorship opportunities, you can reach out to us or you can contact our Director of Instruction, Mr. Matt Conowitz, with the information here on the screen. So we're going to pick back up here. They're serving. As sets it over, and that's going to be another point. Setting it up. Gets another point as looked like he tripped up there at the end of the court. They get it over and now they need to get it over. So setting up as a point. It's up by one. Yeah, nice job there. Hounds have a lot of height in the front, we said earlier in the set. And a little bit of, don't know what they're gonna call there, but as that's gonna be the Hounds point, nice job. in this tie game. I'll take the serve and... Yeah, really nice job there by Coley. Nice pass too, up in the air. Spiked it right over. Colts Neck currently in the lead by one, but still anyone's game. Coltsnick is also serving here to go up by two. Great shot there by the Greyhounds. 
And a great volley here. Nice block. Really nice spike though. Looked like that. Good effort there. Now you can follow all the exciting boys volleyball action on Twitter at NBC underscore boys V-ball. And you can follow all the exciting athletic action on Twitter at NBC underscore athletics. And that's run by our athletic director, Dr. Dan Uzaki. Does a great job keeping everybody plugged in. And you can follow all the exciting programming at northern underscore TV. Colts Neck currently in the lead by one, but still but still, anyone's game. Coltsnick is also serving here to go up by two. Great shot there by the Greyhounds. And a great volley here. I want to take this opportunity now to thank our camera operators, Mr. Matt Kempner, Mr. Wyatt Hutchinson, Ms. Peyton Canuck, Ms. Lily Jackson for their camera work here today. I also want to thank our other video production teacher, Mr. Niedermeyer, for helping coordinate and set up this event. I want to thank the boys' volleyball team in addition to the Colts Neck Athletic Department for their cooperation. Still, anyone's game here, and as I stated, Colts Neck took the first set, 23 to 25. Very much looking forward to the Greyhounds winning this second set and hopefully pushing this to a third set as this is the sectional final, as previously stated. But we've gotten a great matchup here, Logan. Nice job, nice spike to end it there. And want to take this opportunity to thank our setup crew, Mr. Marco Spurgios, Mr. Sam Thomas, Mr. Gavin Stevenson, for helping our other video production teacher, Mr. Niedermeyer, set up for this event. And uh, we have a great crew here as well on hand. So Northern looking to take the lead, and that's going to go... Out of bounds. So that point's going to go to Colts Neck now, currently in the lead, 21 to 20, but still very, very tight matchup here. And Colts Neck pulled through in the first set, 25 23. Rooting for the Greyhounds to pull off this second set and hopefully have it go to a third set. Great play there by the captain, Aaron Colley, getting Northern on the board, tying this one up now. My apologies, Colt Snake's gonna get the point there, and great play there, but that point's gonna go to Colt Snake, who is now currently in the lead, 22-20. Still, Hounds are in it, and Colt Snake's gonna get the point here now. So now it's timeout. Can't get it over the net. Great spike there. And that's going to get the serve back on their side. But I expect this one to be a tight matchup. 
Yeah, nice shot and a really nice spike there. So, unfortunately now, Colts Nick one point away from winning this matchup. That one's going to hit the net, and that point's going to go to the Greyhound. So, still involved in this one, still alive in this one, 24-22. Colts Neck is one point away from winning the sectional final here, but the Greyhounds are down, but certainly not out. And we'll see if what they can do here. They have had a tremendous season. And it looks like that's going to do it. it. Looks like Colts Neck is going to walk away here as, as sectional champs. So credit to Colts Neck for Mr. James Dowd. I'm Logan Stewart. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.